Hello, my name is Joe. I'm a data analyst for BOC Home Care, and in this short video, I will be introducing you to BOC's Home Oxygen Portal, as well as telling you how you can register for the service. This is the first in a series of videos that will demonstrate the many features of the Home Oxygen Portal and how it can make your life as a prescriber much easier, more efficient, and can provide you with useful patient information at your fingertips on any modern smartphone or tablet. The Home Oxygen Portal allows you to submit Home Oxygen order forms electronically for an interactive online form that can be, can, can be completed anywhere and at any time. In addition, you can access patient information such as prescribed flows and hours, equipment usage and safety history. Furthermore, you can submit removal requests online and also safety alerts, download useful files such as patient newsletters and also see previous hoofs you have submitted. We'll go into more detail on the portal's tools later, but for now, let me show you how to register for it. To start, you will need at least Internet Explorer 11 or the latest version of Firefox or Google Chrome. If you need one of these browsers, you should be able to request it from your local NHS digital help desk. With one of these browsers, navigate to www.bochop.co.uk and click the register here link below the login button on the right. At this point, you will want to click register as a prescriber. You will be presented with a form that looks like this, which you can complete as appropriate. All fields marked with a red asterisk are required. So we'll go through this now step by step and I'll show you how to fill it in. For your email address, you will need to register with an email that ends with an at nhs.net address. So in this case, I will use example at nhs.net. You'll want to complete your title and your full first name and surname. Your prescribing region is the area of the country in which you normally operate. Uh, your profession will be your professional role in the NHS. For registering as a host lead, this will only apply if you are a home oxygen service lead for your particular region. If you are not, or if you're not sure how to answer this particular question, you will want to click no. For professional registration code, this will be whatever your code is. If you do not know it, or if it's not applicable, you'll want to type NA. For a line CCG, this will be the CCG in which you normally operate under. For postcode, this will be the postcode of the venue you normally operate out of or are based at. For example, the hospital you work in, the GP surgery, the assessment centre or any other similar venue. So in this case, I will use an example postcode and click find address. Your telephone will be whatever is the best contact number to reach one. This will normally be a landline. If your primary method of contact is only a mobile number, you'll want to enter it here. For security question, this will be used in case you forget your password and need to reset it. When you click on the link to reset your password, it will ask you the question you choose here and ask you for the answer that you will write below. So in this case, I will fill out an example one. Lastly, you have two tick boxes. This is for the data protection statement, just to confirm that you've read it, and also the recapture, which is just to confirm that you're not a robot, or in other words, a bot, or a computer that's not been operated by a human being. So you'll want to click this as well. Once you're done, you'll make to, want to make sure to click submit at the bottom. Your registration request will be sent off to BOC's patient service center, where it will be vetted and then accepted. Once this is done, you'll be sent an email confirming your registration is complete and you will be able to set your password. It's really as simple as that. You can now log in and begin using the features of the portal immediately, which we'll begin covering in our next short video. For now, if you have any feedback or comments on the portal, please feel free to send them to boc.hop at nhs.net and thank you very much for listening.